Hello everyone, this is Christy. Here it is, my mini album that I made with cards and envelopes. Isn't this beautiful? <laughs> I love it. I love how it came at the end for the cover, as you can see right here. I used one of the um, tags from the paper, then this rhinestone, these beautiful flowers. See, and then I also use this one right here and a nice ribbon to close then these corners. Then I use some lace right here and these rosette trims that I love, love, love. And then here is the back. Now I'm going to open it and show you how it looks inside, okay? I added a few things and I'm going to show you at the end how I made it, okay? So if you open, let's start on this side, okay? The paper had this beautiful um, saying in a big uh, 12 by 12 and I just cut this part and I made a pocket and then inside of the pocket, it says, you're my cup of tea. I made this tag that has room for two big pictures, but when you open, see, this is part of the paper. You have this beautiful paper with a lot of cups of tea, and the person who gets this album can write um, may maybe some journaling in each cup, referring to friends or family. So beautiful, right? Then you open right here and I put lace so they can see that they have to open the page and they have room up here for more pictures, more lace so you can open and there is room for more pictures and also a pocket where there is another card that can hold four more pictures. So this mini album holds up to 100 pictures. See, now on this side, look up here, I use one die and I just glue on the edge right here and it can hold one picture right here. They can glue in there the picture they want and I put this little banner right here so they can pull and also lace so they can open and they can have room for more pictures here, right? Then remember that each of these is a card that can hold four pictures, okay? Four, um, four by six pictures. Then in the next page, I decorated with this uh, paper from the paper pad and then I put some of these um, lace trims. It looks like tassels. And this one right here, I think they are from Michael's, these two. And then right here, I put some of the tags from the paper. And you know these tags right here. Um, then it has the cards, but uh, also these big tags that came in the paper pad. Okay. Then right here, then in this page, I made these two pockets. When I made the tutorial, I told you that the paper was um, with this beautiful design and I fussy cut and made a pocket. So I put these two tags so they can write some journaling at the back. And then it has these large tags, see? And also the opening right here and you can see the lace so they can open and have more pictures in there, okay? Then in the next page, I just decorated with these dice and uh, made some space for journaling. And here are the cards. There is a lot of room for pictures. Then for this one, I didn't do anything because you can place big pictures in here and you will have a lot of room for all your pictures, see? And then at the end, after you put the pictures, maybe you can add a little tag or saying something, a date about a picture or something, right? 
then in the next page i use this uh, from the paper pad and i just use my punch right here for the edge and then i put this one right here this is a die cut and and that can be for journaling and as i show you before this one was part of the paper pad and here are the cards that are for four pictures see and this is for journaling from the paper pad so everything matches right here <laughs> see the colors and for the last page i made this um it's like an envelope and i always like to add a big envelope or something a pocket so they can put some memorabilia or extra pictures or something see so i created this um big envelope and they uh, and it has right here room for adding um some stuff in there and it has magnets so it can hold it okay and then i use my dice for this um edge see and this one can see the lace can be open and you have room for more pictures and then for the last page see the lace okay this is part of the paper pad i made a pocket and i just decorated with this die cut um then right here there is a tag for four pictures see and when you open right here see you have um space for big pictures then you open and then i made a pocket an extra pocket and you have room for four more pictures see so this one is a small mini album but holds a lot of pictures and you can embellish it see with die cuts with laces and for the cover you can make something different um, with flowers but you if you do a different style yeah it would be awesome now i'm gonna show you in the first page okay right here on the cover we only had one flap that it was only one envelope right and i added this um pocket on top of the first um page and i cut another envelope at three and a half okay you just cut the three and a half and you can glue the envelope and then you have a pocket you just embellish on top okay then you just cut the size of um of a paper that you want to put inside it can be tags it can be um like a card this one is from the paper pad i just cut uh, this is 12 inches i just cut the size that i wanted then um i fold it in half and then i added the pattern paper that i wanted and yeah it was very nice that it fits in there then when i open I added another envelope right here here is the envelope and what I did is I just cut half of an inch right here okay and I measure where I want it okay for example this one was going to be underneath I um, glue on that part okay I just glue the half of an inch there then to cover that half of an inch I got another envelope and I cut it at two and a half two and a half and I glue it right here and I made a pocket see you just glue the two and a half inches uh, of the envelope in there and then I add another card see you have more room for pictures see beautiful right so and i added a magnet here and i just had to open this one carefully and i added another magnet here so this one closes this is the same for the last one okay this is another pocket then um same as you can see i added another envelope with a half of an inch glue on the side i added the other part of the envelope that was two and a half inches 
and I made another pocket. And this one is good for your mini album because you have more room for pictures, see? Now, for this pocket right here, I'm going to give you the dimensions, okay? As you can see, I made this pocket and I um, put right here some folding so I can have room when you put the papers. And for the flap, I made it big, but you can make it smaller if you want and it, it can expand, okay, with the pocket. So I'm going to um, show you how I make that. And for that, you will need two pieces of paper. The first one is 10 by four and a half. This is 10 by four and a half. And you will score at six, okay? You will make um, score lines at six, six and one quarter, six and a half six and three quarters and seven. So between six and seven, every fourth of an inch, okay? And that's uh, for making um, the flap to expand uh, when the pocket um, grows, okay? So that's the first part, okay? Now the second part is this one. The paper is six and a half by seven, okay? This one is going to be six and a half, and this is seven. And you are going to make score marks on the three sides, okay? Like this. The first one is half of an inch, okay? Then the second one is at three quarters of an inch, and then at one, okay? You can fold the paper and do the same thing on this side. Half of an inch, three quarters of an inch, and one. Then turn the page and it's half of an inch, three quarters of an inch, and one, okay? So the three sides are the same. Now, you are going to fold the score marks like this. The, the, this one, the first one inside, you're going to fold it in. Then in the second one, out, and then in, okay? So it can look like this, see? Expandable. Now you're going to do the same thing in the other side, okay? In, out, and then again in, and the same at the bottom, okay? In, out, and then again in, okay? Now in the corners, we are going to cut, okay? I'm gonna show you how. We are going to cut this one right here. We are going to take out this piece, okay? Same as in the other side. And now you are going to fold this one. And I used to do this. After it's folded, I just cut diagonally, okay? Same up, up here. When this one is folded, I just cut. So when you glue this one, it's going to look like this, see? Okay, now look again. You fold this part and then cut, okay? Then open and then fold this part and cut here, okay? So you have this one like this, see? Now we are going to glue this one over here. But before we do that, okay? Before we do that, we are going to cut an opening up here. And you can do an opening of um, one inch. Okay, you can put something, a plate or something and, and trace like half circle right here. You can make a mark first, okay, at one inch and then cut, or you can use a die. And also you, you can cut up here with a die or punch. Then when you are done with that, with these two, you are going to glue, and then you can add Velcro, you can add magnets, or you can add that um, eyelets to put them together right here. So it's up to you. I put a magnet and you can barely see because of the paper is too colorful, but I put a magnet and then one inch uh, circle right here on top. 
And for this one, I put the magnet and then I cover with another paper. And then when it's done, you just need to glue um, the pocket on the page. And when you put the, the pocket, okay, try not to put the glue all the way on the edge. Okay, leave for uh, like, leave like about half of an inch and then put the tape right here. Okay, you can put tape and leaving like half of an inch and then glue it on the page. Now let me show you the dies that I use. And here is this one. The big one is this die is five and three quarters of an inch. It's so big. It comes six pieces. And I love, love, love how they look. See, so beautiful. Then this one is from Ali. And these corners too, the metal corners, these two as well. So I'm going to put the links of all the supplies that I use that it's from Ali. Okay, the flowers, these rosette trims. So now I'm gonna show you the other um, dies. This one is my favorite die and I always use it. And it's this one, it comes four pieces. And for this one, I just use this one, see? So this is a beautiful die. Then right here, for this one, I use this die which is a big one for a frame and I really like how it looks on your mini album see okay then I didn't put any dice here um no dice here this one is the second one right here okay this one then I added okay using this other die I think it's this one that I cut in a white paper and I put it on top and it's very similar. That's why it's uh, working these two. Okay. And you can see now how it looks. And I also use that die right here. See? And I use these two sizes right here. Okay. These two. So the last one for this one, I use this die and this one is um, the frame, but you have to use the second one to make the cut in the center. Okay. So after you cut in the center, it looks like this. Okay. And the last die that I used is this set of nine dies. It comes nine borders, okay? Nine beautiful borders. Let me show you. See? So you can uh, make different designs on the edge of your mini albums. Okay. And these two, see? So the one that I use for the pocket is this one, okay? I cut the paper with this one, okay? And then I grab a piece of gold foil and I cut another piece, okay, with the same and I put it underneath okay then i cut another piece and i did the same and i just glue the papers together so it's this one the foil one underneath and then this one so there are three papers right here and now let me tell you one more thing this mini album is for sale i will leave the information in the description box if you want it please send me an email okay so I hope you like how I designed the album and the tutorial on how to make it. And I hope you have lots of fun creating one for you. Thank you very much for watching my videos, for your likes, your comments, and for subscribing to my channel. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye.